We focus on Rugby Sevens and the 2020 Olympic Games. Collins Injera from Kenya is the second highest scorer in the history of the World Rugby Sevens Series, with over 270 tries. And this week he's representing his country at the Rugby World Cup Sevens competition in San Francisco. Collins tells us why he loves the sport so much. One, the space. Two, how fast it is. And I think just being able to make those split second decisions because it's, it's a very fast game. One of the 24 teams competing in the men's competition is Kenya. And 31-year-old Collins Injera has been a key member of the Kenya team since 2006. Now, during those 12 years, he's become the second highest try scorer in the history of the World Rugby 7 Series, with 271 tries. And in 2009, he received national acclaim in Kenya, when he was awarded the title Sportsman of the Year. Planet Sports' Norman Brawley caught up with Collins last month when the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series came to London, and he began by asking Collins how he first got into the sport. I can't say I really wanted to play rugby, but uh, it was kind of a second thing I wanted to do. Because I remember joining high school, um, I wanted to play soccer. I was a very good soccer player, football player. And uh, I think joining the team in high school, all the fresh fresh guys were told to line up because many guys were playing soccer, were playing football. So the line for joining the football team was just too long. And I'm not good in terms of waiting in line. So I looked over the other side of the field and I saw a small group of guys throwing a ball around. And uh, I remember my brother was telling me he plays this game called rugby. And I, I remember the ball was oval. So I just walked over there and they asked me, do you want to join us? I told them, yes, yeah, I want to join you. I just hammer naturally, just the feel of the ball. I felt this, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to, I want to play. This is the team I'll join. And how do you progress into the sevens? Um, after playing high school, I played high school rugby, then clearing high school, um, joined a local club. I think I only played for like one year for the second for the second side, and then I was picked by the national team, national 15s team at first. Then I played like two games for them, and then that's that's how I transitioned into into sevens. Now, at that time, were the 15s the peak of rugby in Kenya, or was it really the 7s? Uh, that time, it was still the 7s, but uh, for me, just joining the 15 aside team was a huge thing, because I joined the national team, even without playing for the main side of, of, of our club. So it was something big for me. And I remember joining the team, I was so small. I was even converted to... I was told, just try out the winger position. And I think that's how I, I started really understanding the game. And when I transition into sevens now, that's when things have, have blossomed since then. Yeah. What do you enjoy about the sevens? One, the space. Two, how fast it is. And I think just being able to make those split second decisions because it's, it's a very fast game. I think that's what really excites me, that making the split second decision, uh, running. And I mean, uh, and of course, I think lately the physicality has also become part of the game. And I think we've really embraced it. And I think, it's like I said, I think the space is just too much. I think it's, it's, it's a lovely game to play. Kenya is a very religious country. Does faith mean anything to you? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm a Christian, and uh, I think over the years, that is what has really, really guided my path in terms of playing the game. I'm a very prayerful man. I pray a lot. And uh, I think just that having faith and believing in, um, in a supreme being just knowing that, uh, having faith and knowing that you're being guided, I think it has really helped a lot in terms of how I play also. I've been very fortunate enough not to have many major injuries along my career. I think I've only had one surgery in my 10 years of playing the game, in the national team, that is. And I think I just thank God to, for bringing me this far. And uh, I'm hoping that I'll continue playing and uh, he'll continue leading me and giving me energy and keep pushing as much as I can to to just play the game that I love. How do you develop your Christian life on a day-by-day basis? I can't say, like I said, one of the things that I, I do a lot is pray. I read the Bible, trying to get encouraging verse. Um, I think as a rugby player, you have these challenges sometimes. You'll wake up in the, on Sunday, Sunday morning really feeling very, very so tired because of the week's training. But just going to church and trying to offer that one special day to 
God and just thank him for how far he has brought you and thanking for very many things, family, the life that he has given you, in just giving you that life and being able to do what you love. That's how I've really, really, really been into faith over the, the, the period of years that I've been in, in the team. Now you've been in rugby and in the national team for many a year. Yeah. Do you ever think of hanging up your boots? Um, sometimes I usually have those thoughts. Mm. <laughs> But uh, I think as I continue playing, I still feel like I have a little more to offer to the, to the young guys and the guys who are coming up. And also just to encourage the, a guy who might be looking at us and saying, oh, I want to be the next William Barker or Colin Sinjera. And I think just for me keep, to keep playing this long just shows somebody that you can still keep playing this game. You don't have to reach maybe 30 and just say, oh, I'll quit. But I think just, just staying focused, discipline, and just putting in the hard work for me, I think that's what really matters, and I'll continue playing as long as my body allows me to. Um, I know I'm, I'm, I'm not fast but like the way I used to be back in the days, but uh, I think playing the sport so long, there's experience, there's a lot to learn, and I think there's also a lot to, for me to share with the, with the young guys who are coming up in the team.